Hey guys, today we're on the financial battlefield. Many of you might know that I am a veteran. One thing the military is really good at is planning for possible contingencies. For example, the military began planning for war with Japan as early as 1919. Think about that. Back then, war with Japan seemed incredibly unlikely. So this practice continues even today, where the military plans for possible contingencies at war with basically every major world power. And it's called an O-Plan. So today I'm going to give you an O-Plan on how to deal with possible future financial emergencies. So let's dive in. O-Plan Part 1 shore up your defenses. For this part of the O-Plan, you don't need to wait for disaster to strike. Here are some concrete steps you can take today to better prepare yourself for a future financial emergency. O-Plan Part 1 Step 1 Establish and build a three-month emergency fund. Saving cash for a rainy day is one of the most responsible actions you can take today. Build up your emergency fund for at least three months of living expenses and shop around to find an excellent high interest rate savings account. A good resource for this is NerdWallet. Link in the description below. O-Plan Part 1 Step 2 Enhance your life insurance coverage. Check your current term life insurance coverage. Explore purchasing additional coverage for yourself and your spouse, and double-check policy beneficiaries. For increasing coverage, upper limits vary, but I encourage you to purchase coverage for each working adult that represents their annual salary times 10, which would give your family breathing room for a decade in case of the unthinkable. If your spouse does not currently work, they still need at least $100,000 of term coverage. Think of all the contribution the spouse makes to the home, and those services would need to be replaced somehow if the unthinkable happens to them. If you want more information on life insurance, please see my full Ando Arashi video. O-Plan Part 1 Step 3 Establish a HELOC. If you are a homeowner with a high credit score and reasonable home equity, establish a HELOC as a potential source of emergency funds. Mortgage paperwork is time consuming and onerous, so there will not be sufficient time to establish this if you wait for disaster to strike. Go through the three to six months of paperwork now in exchange for a decade of peace of mind later. Once established, the HELOC remains on standby mode until you need it and you are able to draw the amount you require up to your HELOC credit line limit. If you want more information on HELOCs, please see my full Ando Arashi video. Okay, now on to O-Plan Part 2, 3, and 4, which game out what steps to take when the financial emergency actually happens. O-Plan Part 2, Burn Down Your Cash Reserves. This part of the O-Plan tells you what accounts to draw from and in what order. Because in an emergency, clear thinking is not always possible. So write these down, share with your family members, and place them near your will and vital documents. O-Plan Part 2 Step 1 Life Insurance In the event of death, follow your insurance company guidelines for receiving the death benefit. This payout will greatly reduce your stress levels and allow you to properly grieve. O-Plan Part 2 Step 2 Draw from your emergency fund Hopefully you built up at least three months of living expenses and can better cope with a short-term disability, illness, or job loss. O-Plan Part 2 Step 3 Roth IRA Contributions If the emergency fund is not enough, pull the contributions from your Roth IRA. Contributions are the money you deposit in your Roth IRA, not the gain on top of those investments. As long as you only withdraw contributions, the withdrawal remains tax-free. For more information on Roth IRAs, please see my full Ando Arashi video. O-Plan Part 3 Borrow this part of the O-Plan tells you what accounts to borrow from and in what order. What we're trying to do here is avoid taking on high interest credit card debt. So keep this order in mind. Also write it down, share it with your family members and keep it near your will and vital documents. Because when a financial emergency strikes, again, it's very hard to keep a clear mind. So having this in place now will greatly mitigate your stress levels in the future. O-Plan Part 3 Step 1 Activate the HELOC Having done the HELOC paperwork in advance, you'll be able to tap part of your home equity with an amount you desire and on a flexible repayment schedule. O-Plan Part 3 Step 2 
Obtain a personal loan. A personal loan is available to individuals with a high credit score and enables you to borrow a lump sum with a fixed interest rate and repayment schedule. This is convenient if you are reasonably sure you can pay back the loan within three to five years. A good resource for finding personal loans is NerdWallet. Link in the description below. OPLAN Part 3 Step 3 Borrow from your 401k. Depending on your company's 401k policies, you may be able to obtain a 401k loan with a reasonable interest rate and repayment schedule. The loan is tax-free and none of the normal early withdrawal penalties apply either. The main downside here is opportunity cost, meaning by using the money now, it is no longer able to work for you in your golden years. O-Plan Part 3 Step 4 Borrow from a Whole Life Policy I put this last simply because most people do not have a whole life policy in effect with a large cash balance. But if you do, the insurance company will allow you to borrow against the cash value of the policy with a reasonable interest rate and without a fixed repayment schedule. This comes in handy if you are unsure if and when you would be able to pay back the loan. If you want more information on whole life insurance, please see my full Ando Arashi video. Finally, I hope you never have to get this deep into your O-Plan, but if you do, there is one option left. O-Plan, part four, burn the retirement funds. As I said, this is a step you never want to have to take, but having exhausted all other options, this is the next best worst choice available. O-Plan, part four, step one. Withdraw your Roth IRA. In OPLAN Part 2, Step 3, we discuss withdrawing only the Roth IRA contributions. Having exhausted that path, it's now time to withdraw the gains on your investment and face the 10% early withdrawal penalty. OPLAN Part 4, Step 2, Withdraw Your 401k. In OPLAN Part 3, Step 3, we discuss taking a 401k loan. Having exhausted that path, it's now time to withdraw your 401k balance and face the 10% early withdrawal penalty. That wraps up our comprehensive financial emergency O-Plan. I hope from the bottom of my heart that you never need this plan. But if you do, I hope that this video helped you in some small way prepare for the worst. So if you have more questions, please go to ando-arashi.com and book a meeting. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe, Keep watching Ando Arashi for more videos.